Hello, my name is Asif Khwaja from ATH Business Solutions. Today we are excited to show you our new Timesheet Power App called Project Timesheets App. This we have built with Microsoft Power Platform, including Power Apps and SharePoint Online. The app will allow your business to manage your project-related timesheets. First, I will show you how an employee and an approver interact with the app. And then we will see the admin side of the app and look at various tools that are available to the app administrators. Okay, so here I am logged in uh, with a user called Jack Black. Jack is just an employee and he will add a new timesheet. Okay, so let's click on add button here to create a new timesheet. This is the timesheet form. You can see Jack Black is logged in. The week ending dropdown automatically shows the current week's end date. The status of this timesheet is in progress. As you can see, this is a new timesheet being created. And the approver dropdown automatically shows the user's manager, which is being fetched from Office 365. The employee has the ability to go in and change that approver to someone else if they think that their manager is not available to approve their timesheet. But for this, we will keep it to the manager. On this timesheet form, the employee will then choose a project that they have worked on during this week. The list of projects is customizable and you can add your own project codes and project names to this list. Let's choose one project here. Then there are project activities and tasks that the employee can choose from. Again, this list is also customizable and you can add your own tasks or activities. Let's choose analysis as an activity for this project. Jack worked on this project on Monday for eight hours. So I will enter the value eight here. It will automatically calculate the total number of hours for that project. And now Jack can click on add another row to add another project from this list, the activity. And let's say for this activity and project, Jack worked on Tuesday, four hours, as well as Thursday, four hours. So it will calculate the total number of hours for that project. There is a notes option here as well, which will allow the employee to enter any details of the project or comments and then they can save these comments you will note that the icon will tell us whether there is a comment saved for that row or not the employee also has the ability to delete a row and then add a new row the employee can also click on this option which is copy previous week this option will copy the timesheet and all the rows from previous week to the current week so this is a very handy option when employees have similar projects that they are working on in the next week. They can easily copy the rows from previous week and then change. The employee can also add their leave information as part of these timesheets if required. As you can see, there is an option called leave. This is just a custom option that we have added to the list of projects. You can add as many other options to the projects list as you like. When they choose leave, the activity is automatically selected with leave. And then I can enter the number of hours for that leave for Wednesday, for example. And I can put in the notes that this was my annual leave. The employee can keep on adding the rows to this timesheet. And once they are done, they can click on the save button to save this timesheet. And once the timesheet has saved, you can see that it's showing pre-saved and not new anymore. I can then go and select my next week and start adding my timesheet data for the next week as well if the data is already available. Or I can choose to copy it from my previous week. If I go back to my home page and I click on view button, I will be able to see all of my timesheets that are in different stages. So for the in progress status, I can see that I have two timesheets already created, 27th of March which is being displayed here, and then 10th of April, which we just created. I can click on the notes to see all the notes as well. I can see my previously submitted timesheets, if there are any, or my approved timesheets, if there are any. I can also go and for any timesheets, I have the ability to delete that timesheet completely. Now, depending on your organization's policies, you can choose to hide this button and not allow the employees to delete their timesheets. And I also have as an employee the ability 
to edit any timesheets. When I click on edit timesheet button, it takes me back to the timesheet form where the selected timesheet is displayed in edit mode. I can make any changes to my timesheet. For example, I can change the activity for this project. And then once I'm happy, I can click on the save button to save the timesheet. And finally, I can click on the submit for approval button to submit my timesheet to my selected approver. I can also go back and edit my timesheet after I have submitted it from here. Going back to the home page, the approve button will allow me to approve any pending timesheets on me. So as an approver, I can go and choose any employees whose timesheets are waiting for my approval. So for example, in this case, Asif Khwaja has submitted a timesheet to this employee who is Jack Black, the currently logged in user. And I can choose that employee and choose the week, look at all the details of their timesheets with their comments and everything. As an approver, I can also delete this timesheet and ask them to resubmit it. This screen also gives me a review dashboard. The review dashboard shows me for any selected month, all of my direct reports, any employees who report to me. And then if I click on refresh button, there are four weekends in the month of April. And this screen shows me the timesheet status for every week for that employee. So as you can see for the week ending on 3rd of April, this employee has created a timesheet, but it's still in progress. They haven't submitted this timesheet. For the week ending 17th of April and 24th of April, this employee has not created any timesheets. So the system couldn't find their timesheet. For the week of 10th of April, their timesheet has been either approved or rejected. So it has already been processed. So this screen gives you a really good status view of the timesheets of all of your direct reports for a particular month. If I choose March, then you will see that for March, my direct report Asif has submitted two timesheets for these two weeks. One of their timesheets has already been approved or processed. And for 6th of March, they didn't submit any timesheet. The email icon allows me to send a reminder email to them. So when I click on this button, it automatically sends a email reminder to that employee asking them to submit a timesheet for that weekend. Let's go back to our approval screen now, where this timesheet for Asif Khwaja is waiting for approval. We can go and uh, put any comments and approve this timesheet. The timesheet has approved, and now we don't have any other pending timesheets waiting for our approvals here. Going back to the home page, these are the only options available to the employees and approvers. Let's now switch to a different user who is also the app administrator. We will switch to their interface. And for this user, as you can see, the admin tools lock appears open here. So they will be able to go and access those tools. Asif can also go and add new timesheets or view their timesheets and also approve any pending timesheets on them. For example, we know that Jack Black created a timesheet a while ago and submitted that timesheet to Asif Khwaja. And here is the timesheet that we can see that Jack submitted. We can go and approve or reject their timesheet also. But let's go back to our home page and let's see what admin tools are available. Now this section will be accessible to only the app administrators or if you add someone from, for example, payroll department or HR to the administrators list, then they will also be able to access this screen. This screen provides some very useful tools to the administrators. For example, there is a search area where you can go in and search for any employees past timesheets. For example, for Jack, I can see that what timesheets are still in progress for Jack, or I can see different statuses that how many timesheets they have already submitted. So at the moment, there is only one that they have submitted. I can see all of their comments and notes that they have put for those rows and see if there are any approved timesheets for them. And if there are any approved, then who approved them and what were their comments. The administrator also has the ability to delete this timesheet completely if required. So this is a very powerful screen, which allows you to do any historical searches for all employees of your company and for all of the timesheets that they have created. Going back to the tools screen, we have another section called delegate. The delegate screen allows you to delegate timesheets from one approver to another approver. This is especially useful when an approver is on leave or is not 
able to approve timesheets for whatever reason, then the administrators can come here and delegate that approvers timesheets to someone else. So for example, we can come here and search for all of the timesheets that have been assigned to Asif. And we can see that there are various employees who have created timesheets for the approver Asif. And they are all in the either in progress or submitted status. So they haven't been finalized, like approved or rejected. And because Asif is not available to approve these timesheets for whatever reason, we can then select a new approver, for example, Chris Green, and then either choose whatever timesheets we want to assign to Chris Green as an approver, or just select all of them if we want to assign all of the timesheets in one go to Chris Green, and then click on the delegate button. Delegated successfully. So any timesheets that were assigned to Asif Khwaja have been assigned to Chris Green now. And then Chris Green would be able to go into the approval section of our app from here and search for any timesheets that have been assigned to him. And because I'm logged in as Asif here, you can see that the approval screen does not show me any employees that are waiting for my approval because all of the timesheets we delegated to Chris Green. So going back to the admin tools and delegate, if I again search for Chris Green, it shows me that these timesheets were assigned to Chris Green and we can then assign them back to Asif Delegate and now these have been assigned back to Asif Khwaja. So very useful functionality which allows you to easily delegate your timesheets to anyone in your organization. Also as an administrator you have the ability to see certain reports. This reports button is currently connected to the SharePoint list that is storing all of the timesheet data. You can look at all of your data in this SharePoint list, filter and search for any items that you are interested in, or you can also export your data to an Excel document from here. All those typical SharePoint list functionality that is available. You can actually configure this reports button to point to any other report. For example, if you have a Power BI report that you are interested in and want to build for your timesheet data, then you can link this button to that Power BI report. The status dashboard tool in the administrator's section is very similar to the review dashboard that we saw earlier, showing the timesheet status for your direct reports. So I can choose a different month and see the status for these employees who are reporting into me. The only extra option that's available for administrators is that they can go and choose any administrator from their company and see if there are any employees that report to them and there are any pending timesheets for them. So there is nothing for Chris Green. Let's choose Jack Black. There is only one direct report to Jack Black. And if I click on the refresh button, it should show me that Asif has actually four timesheets in these statuses. And we can also send him an email reminder so that they can submit their timesheet for any missing weeks. Going back, the next tool that's available to the administrators is the manage projects. This screen allows the administrators to add or remove or update any projects that the business is involved in. So for example, I can choose corporate website project. I can choose to edit this project and change the name of the project or update the project code or I can change the status to closed if this project has been completed. Once the project is marked closed, it will no more appear on the timesheet forms in the projects dropdown. I can then save this project. We can also create a new project. Let's say test project. We can give it a project code and then we can save this and you can now see that the new project appears in our list. Other than the projects, we also have the project activities. Currently, we have these activities added to our system. We can choose to delete any activity or add a new activity to our list. And then these activities will start appearing in the dropdown on our timesheet forms. Finally, in the admin tools, we have app settings. The app settings section of the app allows the administrators to define certain app parameters. For example, the app's web link, the SharePoint site's URL, and color codes for the app's theme colors. 
to match those theme colors with your organization's theme colors. This screen also allows the administrators to go and choose anyone to be the app administrator. So this is it. That's all the powerful functionality of our new project-based Timesheets Power App. We hope that you like this new Power App and you can see the value that this app can bring to your business. We have put links in the description of this video to the website you can get this app from and also a free PDF document with step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up this app in your own Office 365 environment. If you have any questions or feedback about this app, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I will try my best to respond to all your comments. With that, I will say thank you for watching and have a good day.